you've heard the rule loud and clear, stay at home. But is all of Chicago listening? CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov live near DeSable Harbor. Dana, not everyone is getting the message yet. No, no, Brad, not everybody is listening, but I was out and about today, and I'll tell you, it appears that violators are few and far between, especially the mayor says since she shut down the lakefront here. The day's fog adds another layer of gloom to an already gloomy situation. Chicago police continue to block and patrol the closed lakefront, and most of Chicago's parks and open spaces are virtually empty. One day after Mayor Lori Lightfoot shut them down and ordered people to stop gathering in groups. Most parks and spaces, but not all. Are you supposed to be doing this? I asked a group gathered on a north side soccer field this morning. I'm just asking, are you aware of the stay-at-home order and not to get together in groups? Yes, no? Should you be out Moments here? later. Call it off. The person in charge of that drill told me I was right and called it off. He asked they not be identified, and I complied. Other than that one morning gathering, anyone out and about seemed to be taking the social distancing mandate to heart. Mayor Lightfoot says police issued several more warnings Thursday, but no new tickets or arrests. And in a call with reporters today, thanked city residents. This afternoon, OEMC workers also headed out to the lakefront to patrol it and keep people out. As for mandating other municipalities follow suit, Governor J.B. Pritzker isn't there. At least not yet. We have encouraged local governments, just as Chicago did, to make sure that they're keeping an eye out to see if people are, in fact, adhering to stay at home. Many places in Illinois, people are doing exactly what we asked. I had the opportunity to ask Governor Pritzker today if he has given any thought to extending the current statewide stay at home order, which expires or lifts on April 7th. He says he is constantly evaluating that, but as of right now, it is still in effect until April 7th. Reporting live along Chicago's lakefront, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News.